Welcome to our YouTube channel Academics. In this video, we are going to discuss about basics of probability and linear algebra for reinforcement learning. So, to understand RL reinforcement learning, we need to have a basic idea about this probability as well as algebra. Uh, the main concept is like uh, having an idea or uh, remembering the formulas you learned in the first year of your VTEC life that is m1 and m2 some of the prob probability formulas as well as linear algebra formulas you need to remember it once again so let's discuss about probability what is probability uh, probability is a measure of likelihood of an event occurring and it ranges from 0 to 1 in rl probabilities are used to represent uncertainties so we use uh, probability in rl to find out the or to represent the uncertainty. Uh, the next probability theory, probability is a measure of likelihood. Same, it is the same concept. Uh, the formula for the probability event is P of E, where the number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes. So before do before uh, seeing this, we'll see this uh, experiment sample space and all. So when we discuss about the Definition of experiment. Experiment is a process or an action that has uncertain outcomes. Each run of the experiment produces the result. Means if you roll a fair dice, the outcomes would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That uh, all the outcomes are set to be, uh, when all these outcomes are placed in a set, uh, then it is said to be a sample space. Sample space is a set of all possible outcomes of an experiment means if you roll a die all the six outcomes are all these all are the outcomes so we need to place it in a set of all possible outcomes then we say they say it as a sample space and we are we can also take an example of flipping a coin or tossing a coin uh, the outcomes the possible outcomes may be head and tails not maybe sorry the possible outcomes for this experiment are head and tails then next we'll discuss about event what do you define event as event is a specific subset of an outcome means uh, in this we are going to take a subset that is called an event when uh, event is said like probability of only uh, getting a head in this is called an event or else we can take an example of rolling an even number in this dice uh, in this all six possible outcomes getting only even even outcomes is called sorry even numbers are called as uh, an event when rolling a die then probability probability is like you already i have already said you like number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes where uh, if you take a probability of three coming in a die uh, three only comes once right favorable outcome is one and total outcomes are six so the probability of three Rolling a die is 1 by 6. The next complement rule. The complement of an event is the probability that event does not occur. Then it is calculated by 1 minus P of E. Probability of an event complement is 1 minus probability of an event occurring. Means uh, if the rain probability of the rain occurring is 0 0.3, then probability of not occurring a rain is 1 minus probability of rain occurring means 1 minus 0 0.3 is equal to 0 0.7 so probability of uh, rain not occurring is equal to 0 0.7 we can calculate like that so uh, when we discuss about conditional probability conditional probability measures the likelihood of an event a occurring given that b has already occurred so this is the formula p of uh, a by b equals to p so the formula is probability of A given probability of B equals to the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. And here's an example of a card drawn from a deck. Probability of heart given its red is 13 by 26. Answer is 0 0.5. Then let's check here. Uh, same probability of finding the next conditional probability. So here when we talk about random variable random variables here random variable is a variable whose 
value is determined by the outcome of an event and next example of a random variable is let us take a random variable y is the number of heads we are getting from tossing a two coins y could be 0 1 or 2 means uh, getting only number of heads from causing two coins means we can also get uh, one only one head or only two heads or else only no heads the probability may be getting no heads and getting one head and getting both both the coins as heads so uh, this is called as random variable next when we talk about probability distributions probability distribution describes the likelihood of different outcomes from a variable where in RL, probability distributions are used to represent the uncertainty associated with various events. Uncertainty represents the randomness. So, when we throw a dice, you will get 6 independent probabilities like 1 by 6, 1 by 6, 1 by 6. These uh, probabilities may be equal or not equal, but their sum should be equal to 1. If you calculate all the sum of these probabilities, you may get approximately to 1. We can also take this probability distribution example. Uh, here they have taken a four-sided spinner experiment where the probability of red color, blue color, green color, yellow color are given. And when we do the sum of this, it is equals to 1. So uh, there is not mandatory condition that the all the probabilities given in the distribution should not be equal. They may vary, but their sum should be equal to 1. And then next we'll move on to same, these are the definitions already given. And discussing about linear algebra, we'll discuss here. Where linear algebra, we have some basics of linear algebra. Those are scalar, vector, matrix, matrix addition, dot product, matrix, multiplication, determinant, eigenvalues, and eigenvectors. So uh, in scalar, a scalar is a single number like example 5. 5 is a scalar number which is used to represent the magnitude but it is only used to represent a value or a magnitude scalar but as whereas uh, vector vector is an ordered list of numbers representing magnitude as well as direction and space uh, here vector is represented as v uh, 3 comma 4 represents the point in a 2d space you have already learned about matrix in your N1, matrix additions and dot products, matrix multiplication. But just let's go through it. Uh, matrix is a rectangular array where number as, numbers are arranged in rows and columns. Here yes, it is a 1, 2 represents row and 3, 4 represents row and 1, 3 represents columns, 2, 4 represents columns. Next, we'll do addition of both the matrix like adding first elements. First element of uh, matrix A with the first, el sec first element of the matrix B. Same, similar to second element of matrix A with the sec ele second element of the matrix B. We'll do the addition same as it is. And we already know about the uh, dot product. Dot product is nothing but uh, producting the, uh, multiplying the first elements of the both the matrix and adding them with the second element product. 1 into 3 plus 2 into 4 equals to 11. Then after, we'll simply mat uh, matrix multiplication is nothing but com it combines rows of the first columns with the columns of the second to form a new matrix. Next, determinant. Uh, we do have a formula like AD minus BC for the determinant, right? So, 4 minus 3 in 1 into 4 minus 3 into 6, matlab. 4 minus 6 equals to minus 2. Um, eigenvalues and eigenvectors are the eigenvalues are scalars and eigenvalues are vectors. So these are some few basic concepts of linear algebra and as, as well as probability. Um, and then we'll discuss next definition of stochastic in the next video. And thank you for watching this video. We are ending this video.